She told me she was a word slut. She told me she was a word slut. In other words, a uh, bust down for some crushed nouns. Uh, mistress of scripture mixtures, thoroughly enticed by sentences of poetic likeness and spiritual lyric devices. She told me she was a word slut. But you see a lot of different lanes by a lot of different names have all tried to fit that same game in the form of phrase of pitiful cliche phrase. She was a word slut. But unfortunately she hasn't heard much from these nerds with their speech slurred, no actions, just weak verbs for what? Thinking that if they kick a little flow, spitting something she don't know, she'll turn like a doorknob and go just cause she in the go. Not blue. But in the west side of the shop, when the street lights, they watch you. And I swear it's so easy to spot a cat who don't believe his own meow when he spits, claiming he's so sick, got allergy, but don't even feel his own sneeze when he, I, chew. <laughs> See, a true writer can feel when another scriber is not true. And a word slut that ain't heard much is so dangerous when she lets that burn touch. So here's where I come in. All right. See, I think I got a little something that she could throw on a little piece of paper and burn up. Maybe I could sing a little something that she'll put on wax and Throw it on the CD player and the car and turn up. But see, I do a little magic with adjectives. Something like an erotic verb rush. And even though Shorty told me that she mixed spoken word with smoking herb once, I promise that I'm no mastermind of rhyme. But for me, she'll never hear any spoken turds flush. I'm going to run that back real quick just in case somebody was texting and didn't catch me. I do a little magic with adjectives. Something like an erotic verb rush. And even though Shorty told me that she mixed spoken word with smoking herb once, I promise that I'm no mastermind of rhyme. Me, she will never hear any spoken turds flush. I don't talk. I just speak as real as objects you can see and feel. And that alone is like a real because she told me that she was a word slug. I mean, for the first time in a long time, back on the page, bending corners and burning dust. She the type to leave my words stuck, usually with a precious face and a voluptuous. Waste, you know, the type I give a choice about how to use me, but nah. <laughs> I ain't really had to like that. I'm just intrigued by her title. She is a poetry fiend who can take four shots with Grey Goose and still profess her love for the Bible. In the beginning, there was the word. Next came light and birds, and then darkness befell the earth. And then 2,000 some odd years later, there was her. At an open mic, the light returned. Puts my fire to the mic like a candle burn. And he opened my text to pages to recite on stages when she stated that she went to college. To learn. And even though some of that knowledge was absurd, I mean, how could you not be a trick for the spoken word script? A bop for the right combination of consonants, which you can put together a piece so slick and immediately give me the urge to give her some dick shun. <laughs> My ballpoint effortlessly guiding between her lines. We can make it up as we go, but I thrive on non friction. Until A's, E's, U's, O's, and I's roll back, exploding capital capillaries from the back. I want to expand her very vocabulary until her dreams scream poetry. I'm just saying. <laughs> Give it up.